Hey y'all, just wanted to make a video explaining how I was able to get my PS4 to send its gameplay to my laptop. That way I can stream or just record my gameplay using only my laptop and, you know, just having my PS4 send all the information over. So let's get to that. Alright, let's get started. All you're really going to need for this is a PS4, obviously, and then a laptop that, you know, they can stream pretty well. Mine's has four cores and eight threads, which allows it to, you know, stream at a decent quality. Not the best, but you know, gotta make do with what I got. Alright, starting with the PC, you're gonna wanna download three things. Starting with the PlayStation Remote Play. This will allow you to actually let your P PlayStation 4 send all the information to your PC so that way you can start streaming and stuff. So I'd recommend scrolling down a bit, going to Windows PC or download for Mac if you have Mac. I have Windows, so you know, I download Windows. Secondly, I personally recommend downloading stream elements. I've heard, you know, for just from research showing that stream elements is a lot more easier to get around than Streamlabs. So if you want, you can download Streamlabs or just do OBS alone. But personally, I'd recommend downloading stream elements because it kind of just adds to OBS and makes, you know, just the whole experience a lot easier. So the way you do that is go to features, go to OBS live, and then press download. And, you know, it'll send a download over. I already have it downloaded, so, you know. Last but not least, I definitely recommend downloading OBS Studios. Um, if you don't want to go down the stream uh, elements route, just download it from uh, right here. And uh, you can, you know, just start streaming through there. But personally, I'd recommend going with the stream elements because I believe it downloads its own app and also OBS at the same time, which makes things a lot more easier because you can just go back and forth between stream elements and OBS. All right, now that everything's downloaded, as you can see up here, I'm gonna take you over to the PlayStation so that you can see what you really need to do in order to get everything situated so that your PlayStation can send everything over to your PC. All right, now that you're on your PS4, you're gonna to wanna to go all the way up to settings, go to your login settings, and then go to user management, create user, and then you're gonna go uh, go through the process of creating a brand new user this way you're able to sign in on the new user for remote play and then also while you're gaming you can you look at your tv and use your remote that way it's not like a lag in between it it makes it a lot more smoother you might not be like directly looking at your laptop but like for my setup i have my tv right behind my laptop so i'm kind of just looking up at a tilt so if you see me looking up i'm looking at my tv and you just go through the full settings of like creating your user and once that is done, you should have a brand new user just like this. All right, once you have everything set up, just like this brand new account right over here, you're going to want to just leave it right there on your PlayStation and head right back to your laptop. All right, now that we're back on the laptop, we're going to go up to Remote Play, which should be right here. Double click that, open that one up. And it should have you go through a login, and once you're fully logged in, it's going to search for your uh, PlayStation, which is, mine's is already up here. You click on your PlayStation, once it connects, you should see it right here as it loads in. And bam, now I have my PlayStation. Alright, so basically you're going to have your main controller set up to your main account, and then a PlayStation Remote Play set up to the dummy account. That way you have zero input lag. This. When you're um when you're actually playing, but at the same time it's still taking in that recording using the dummy account. Now that we have PlayStation Remote Play open right here, we can head over to OBS Studios or Stream Elements. I you know I do a video later talking about how Stream Elements work or like the differences if you guys would like. But you're gonna go to OBS Studios. I already have it open, but double click OBS Studios. It should pop up as a blank screen. Let's head over to that one right now. Let's make that scene two. So I'm gonna be on here, but we're gonna set up your PlayStation. So we're gonna go to scene two. Okay, so we're gonna go to scene two, as you can see right here. And I put display capture in order to do that. I'll actually go over that real quick. Display capture, you just go right here. You'll go to create new. I already have mine right here. And then it'll pop up right here. I already have mine, so I'm just going to press cancel, but you'll just click on that, click your display, and then press OK. I'm just going to delete this new one because I don't need it. And now I'm just going to show you how to get your PlayStation and your um, 
your camera on your face so the first thing I want to do is just show you how to do the camera basically go click on the plus sign you're gonna click a uh, video capture I have mine's right here but you know for video purposes I'm gonna put create new and then uh, press OK it's gonna pop up with a screen that says integrated webcam which is you know what I have on my uh, laptop right now so I'm gonna press OK since I already have one that's under the webcam, I'm going to have to delete this one in order to use the original one. You guys won't. It'll instantly pop up on your face. But let me just do this. And here I am right here. So now you're able to adjust it anywhere you would like to, you know, squiggle it around or anything like that. I'm just going to put this in the side right here so that way we can get to the PlayStation. Okay, now that I got everything situated, we're going to go to the plus sign again in order to get the PlayStation on your screen. You're going to go to Window Capture, then you're going to go to Create New, and then you're going to go to this bar right here and go to PlayStation Remote Play, and there we go right here. Press OK, and now it's on our screen. Alright, what you guys are going to want to do is put the Window Capture underneath your Video Capture right here. That way your face is always on top, and then you kind of just drag it to fit. The screen. Oh, kind of did it a little too much. Here we go, right here. Let me just finish that up. And now you have basically a whole full gaming setup. I'm actually going to move this up right here, or you know, you can move it anywhere you basically want. And now you basically have a full gaming setup that you can stream or use, um, stream through Twitch or YouTube. And uh, basically, you would just go to start streaming. You'll get your uh, code, your streaming code, and then you'll put it onto YouTube or put it onto Twitch and, you know, put it in our uh, this system. I can make a video about that later, but, you know, I kind of just wanted to get everything set up so that you guys can see how to do it. And then I can make a video later explaining how to get your stream code onto your uh, Twitch or YouTube. But I believe this should be good enough right here where you just have your face and you have um, the game in the background. Alright, I believe that should be everything. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.